The National Reconnaissance Office (NRO) is a member of the United States Intelligence Community and an agency of the United States Department of Defense. NRO is considered along with the Central Intelligence Agency (CIA), National Security Agency (NSA), Defense Intelligence Agency (DIA), and National Geospatial Intelligence Agency (NA) to be one of the Big 5 US intelligence agencies. The NRO is headquartered in unincorporated Fairfax County, Virginia, 2 miles .2 kilometers south of Washington Dulles International Airport. It designs, builds, and operates the reconnaissance satellites of the U.S. federal government, and provides satellite intelligence to several government agencies, particularly Signals Intelligence to the NSA, Imagery Intelligence to the NAW, and Measurement and Signature Intelligence to the DIA. The director of the NRO reports to both the Director of National Intelligence and the Secretary of Defense and serves in an additional capacity as Assistant Secretary of the Air Force Intelligence Space Technology. The NRO's federal workforce consists primarily of Air Force, CIA, NA, NSA, and Navy personnel. A 1996 bipartisan commission report described the NRO as having by far the largest budget of any intelligence agency, and virtually no federal workforce, accomplishing most of its work through tens of thousands of defense contractor personnel. Mission. The National Reconnaissance Office NRO develops and operates space reconnaissance systems and conducts intelligence-related activities for U.S. national security. It also coordinates collection and analysis of information from airplane and satellite reconnaissance by the military services and the Central Intelligence Agency. It is funded through the National Reconnaissance Program, which is part of the National Intelligence Program formerly known as the National Foreign Intelligence Program. The agency is part of the Department of Defense. The NRO works closely with its intelligence and space partners, which include the National Security Agency NSA, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency NA, the Central Intelligence Agency CIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency DIA, the United States Strategic Command, Naval Research Laboratory and other agencies and organizations. It has been proposed that the NRO share imagery of the United States itself with the National Applications Office for Domestic Law Enforcement. The NRO operates ground stations around the world that collect and distribute intelligence gathered from reconnaissance satellites. According to Asia Times Online, one important mission of NRO satellites is the tracking of non-U.S. submarines on patrol or on training missions in the world's oceans and seas. History The NRO was established on August 25, 1960, after management problems and insufficient progress with the USAF Satellite Reconnaissance Program see CMOS and MIDAS. The formation was based on a 25 August 1960 recommendation to President Dwight D. Eisenhower during a special National Security Council meeting, and the agency was to coordinate the USAF and CIA's and later the Navy and NSA's reconnaissance activities. The NRO's first photo reconnaissance satellite program was the Corona program, the existence of which was declassified February 24, 1995, and which existed from August 1960 to May 1972, although the first test flight occurred on February 28, 1959. The Corona system used sometimes multiple film capsules dropped by satellites, which were recovered mid-air by military craft. The first successful recovery from space Discoverer 13 occurred on August 12, 1960, and the first image from space was seen six days later. The first imaging resolution was 8 meters, which was improved to 2 meters. Individual images covered, on average, an area of about 10 by 120 miles 16 by 193 kilometers. The last Corona mission, the 145th, was launched May 25, 1972, and this mission's last images were taken May 31, 1972. From May 1962 to August 1964, the NRO conducted 12 mapping missions as part of the Argonne system. Only seven were successful. In 1963, the NRO conducted a mapping mission using higher resolution imagery, as part of the Lanyard program. The Lanyard program flew one successful mission. 
NRO missions since 1972 are classified, and portions of many earlier programs remain unavailable to the public. Topic. Existence The first press reports on NRO started in 1971. The first official acknowledgement of NRO was a Senate committee report in October 1973, which inadvertently exposed the existence of the NRO. In 1985, a New York Times article revealed details on the operations of the NRO. The existence of the NRO was declassified on September 18, 1992, by the Deputy Secretary of Defense, as recommended by the Director of Central Intelligence. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Funding controversy. A Washington Post article in September 1995 reported that the NRO had quietly hoarded between $1 billion and $1.7 billion in unspent funds without informing the Central Intelligence Agency, the Pentagon, or Congress. The CIA was in the midst of an inquiry into the NRO's funding because of complaints that the agency had spent $300 million of hoarded funds from its classified budget to build a new headquarters building in Chantilly, Virginia, a year earlier. In total, NRO had accumulated $3.8 billion inflation adjusted $6.1 billion in 2018 in forward funding. As a consequence, NRO's three distinct accounting systems were merged. The presence of the classified new headquarters was revealed by the Federation of American Scientists who obtained in classified copies of the blueprints filed with the building permit application. After 9-11 those blueprints were apparently classified. The reports of an NRO slush fund were true. According to former CIA General Counsel Jeffrey Smith, who led the investigation, "...our inquiry revealed that the NRO had for years accumulated very substantial amounts as a rainy day fund." <laughs> <laughs> Future imagery architecture In 1999 the NRO embarked on a $25 billion project with Boeing entitled Future Imagery Architecture to create a new generation of imaging satellites. In 2002 the project was far behind schedule and would most likely cost $2 billion to $3 billion more than planned, according to NRO records. The government pressed forward with efforts to complete the project, but after two more years, several more review panels and billions more in expenditures, the project was killed in what the Times report calls, "...perhaps the most spectacular and expensive failure in the 50-year history of American spy satellite projects." 9-11 In what the government described as a bizarre coincidence, the NRO was planning an exercise on September 11, 2001, involving an accidental aircraft crash into one of its buildings. They planned to simulate the crash by closing off an area of doors and stairwells in the building to make employees find alternate routes out. This has been cited by 9-11 conspiracy theorists as proof of their beliefs. During the attacks most of the employees at NRO headquarters were evacuated, save for essential personnel. In charge of the exercise was CIA man John Fulton, head of the NRO Strategic War Gaming Division, see below. <laughs> Mid-2000s to present In January 2008, the government announced that a reconnaissance satellite operated by the NRO would make an unplanned and uncontrolled re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere in the next several months. Satellite watching hobbyists said that it was likely the USA-193, built by Lockheed Martin Corporation, which failed shortly after achieving orbit in December 2006. On February 14, 2008, the Pentagon announced that rather than allowing the satellite to make an uncontrolled re-entry, it would instead be shot down by a missile fired from a Navy cruiser. The intercept took place on February 21, 2008. In July 2008, the NRO declassified the existence of its synthetic aperture radar satellites, citing difficulty in discussing the creation of the space based radar with the United States Air Force and other entities. In August 2009, FOIA archives were queried for a copy of the NRO video, Satellite Reconnaissance Secret Eyes in Space. The seven-minute video chronicles the early days of the NRO and many of its early programs. 
At the National Space Symposium in April 2010 NRO Director, General Bruce Carlson, USAF RET, announced that till the end of 2011 NRO is embarking on the most aggressive launch schedule that this organization has undertaken in the last 25 years. There are a number of very large and very critical reconnaissance satellites that will go into orbit in the next year to a year and a half. In 2012, a McClatchy investigation found that the NRO was possibly breaching ethical and legal boundaries by encouraging its polygraph examiners to extract personal and private information from DoD personnel during polygraph tests that were purported to be limited to counterintelligence issues. Allegations of abusive polygraph practices were brought forward by former NRO polygraph examiners. In 2014, an Inspector General's report concluded that NRO failed to report felony admissions of child sexual abuse to law enforcement authorities. NRO obtained these criminal admissions during polygraph testing but never forwarded the information to police. NRO's failure to act in the public interest by reporting child sexual predators was first made public in 2012 by former NRO polygraph examiners. Organization The NRO is part of the Department of Defense. The Director of the NRO is appointed by the Secretary of Defense with the consent of the Director of National Intelligence, without confirmation from Congress. Traditionally, the position was given to either the Under Secretary of the Air Force or the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Space, but with the appointment of Donald Kerr as Director of the NRO in July 2005, the position is now independent. The agency is organized as follows, Principal Deputy Director of the NRO PDD -NRO. Reports to and coordinates with the DNRO on all NRO activities and handles the daily management of the NRO with decision responsibility as delegated by the DNRO, and in the absence of the Director, acts on behalf of the DNRO, Deputy Director of the NRO DD -NRO. Senior USAF General Officer Represents those civilian, uniformed USAF personnel assigned to the NRO. Assists both the DNRO and PDDNRO in the daily direction of the NRO, and Coordinates activities between the USAF and the NRO. The corporate staff Encompasses all those support functions such as legal, diversity, human resources, security, counterintelligence, procurement, public affairs, etc. necessary for the day-to-day -day operation of the NRO and in support of the DNRO, PDNRO, and DDNRO. Office of Space Launch OSL responsible for all aspects of a satellite launch including launch vehicle hardware, launch services integration, mission assurance, operations, transportation, and mission safety, and, OSL is NRO's launch representative with industry, the USAF, and NASA, Advanced Systems and Technology Directorate AS &T, invents and delivers advanced technologies, develops new sources and methods, and, enables multi-intelligent solutions, Deputy Director for Business Plans and Operations BPO, responsible for all financial and, budgetary aspects of NRO programs and operations, and, coordinates all legislative, international, and public affairs communications. Communications Systems Acquisition Directorate com, supports the NRO by providing communications services through physical and virtual connectivity, and, enables the sharing of mission-critical information with mission partners and customers. Ground Enterprise Directorate GED, provides an integrated ground system that sends timely information to users worldwide, Imagery Intelligence Systems Acquisition Directorate IMINT, responsible for acquiring NRO's technologically advanced imagery collection systems, which provides geospatial intelligence data to the intelligence community and the military, Management Services and Operations MS &O, provides services such as facilities support, transportation and warehousing, logistics, and other business support, which the NRO needs to operate on a daily basis, Mission Operations Directorate MOD operates maintains and reports the status of NRO satellites and their associated ground systems, manages the 24-hour NRO Operations Center NROC, which, working with U.S. Strategic Command, provides defensive space control and space protection, monitors satellite flight safety, and provides space situational awareness. Mission Support Directorate MSD engages with users of NRO systems to understand their operational and intelligence problems and provide solutions in collaboration with NRO's mission 
Acquisition Partners, Signals Intelligence Systems Acquisition Directorate SIGINT. This directorate builds and deploys NRO's Signals Intelligence Satellite Systems that collect communication, electronic, and foreign instrumentation Signals Intelligence, Systems Engineering Directorate SED provides beginning-to-end systems engineering for all of NRO's systems. Topic personnel In 2007, the NRO described itself as a hybrid organization consisting of some 3,000 personnel and jointly staffed by members of the Armed Services, the Central Intelligence Agency, and DoD civilian personnel. Between 2010 and 2012, the workforce is expected to increase by 100. The majority of workers for the NRO are private corporate contractors, with $7 billion of the agency's $8 billion budget going to private corporations. Topic budget The NRO derives its funding both from the U.S. intelligence budget and the military budget. In 1971, the annual budget was estimated to be around $1 billion, inflation adjusted $6 billion in 2018. A 1975 report by Congress's Commission on the Organization of the Government for the Conduct of Foreign Policy states that the NRO had the largest budget of any intelligence agency. By 1994, the annual budget had risen to $6 billion, inflation adjusted $9.9 .9 billion in 2018, and for 2010 it is estimated to amount to $15 billion, inflation adjusted $16.8 billion in 2018. This would correspond to 19% of the overall U.S. intelligence budget of $80 billion for FY2010. For fiscal year 2012 the budget request for science and technology included an increase to almost 6% about $600 million of the NRO budget after it had dropped to just about 3% of the overall budget in the years before. <laughs> NRO directives and instructions Under the Freedom of Information Act the NRO declassified a list of their secret directives for internal use. The following is a list of the released directives, which are available for download. NROD 10-2. National Reconnaissance Office External Management Policy. NROD 10-4. National Reconnaissance Office Sensitive Activities Management Group. NROD 10-5. Office of Corporate System Engineer Charter. NROD 22-1. Office of Inspector General NROD 22-2 Employee Reports of Urgent Concerns to Congress NROD 22-3 Obligations to Report Evidence of Possible Violations of Federal Criminal Law and Illegal Intelligence Activities NROD 52-1 Executive Order 12,333 Intelligence Activities Affecting United States Persons. NROD 61-1. NRO Internet Policy, Information Technology. NROD 82-1. A. NRO Space Launch Management. NROD 110-2. National Reconnaissance Office Records and Information Management Program. NROD 120-1 The NRO Military Uniform Wear Policy NROD 120-2 The NRO Awards and Recognition Programs NROD 120-3 Executive Secretarial Panel NROD 120-4 National Reconnaissance Pioneer Recognition Program NROD 120-5 National Reconnaissance Office Utilization of the Intergovernmental Personnel Act Mobility Program NROD 121-1 Training of NRO Personnel NROI 150-4 Prohibited Items in NRO Headquarters Buildings – Property Topic. Strategic War Gaming Division According to a pamphlet advertising a security conference in 2002, the NRO has a strategic wargaming division, then headed by John Fulton, who was on staff for the CIA. Topic: <laughs> Technology. NRO's technology is likely more advanced than its civilian equivalents. 
In the 1980s the NRO had satellites and software that were capable of determining the exact dimensions of a tank gun. In 2012 the agency donated two space telescopes to NASA. Despite being stored unused, the instruments are superior to the Hubble Space Telescope. One journalist observed, if telescopes of this caliber are languishing on shelves, imagine what they're actually using. Topic. Spacecraft The NRO maintains four main satellite constellations NRO SIGINT constellation NRO GEOINT constellation NRO Communications Relay constellation NRO Reconnaissance constellation The NRO spacecraft include topic. GEOINT imaging Keyhole series, imagery intelligence KH1, KH2, KH3, KH4, KH4A, KH4B Corona KH5 Argon KH6 — Lanyard KH7 Gambit KH8 Gambit 1966 to 1984 KH9 Hexagon and Big Bird 1971 to 1986 KH10 Dorian canceled KH11 Kennan or Kennan Crystal Improved Crystal Icon and Evolved Enhanced Crystal System 1976 to 2013 Samos Photo Imaging 1960 to 1962 Misty, Zirconic, Stealth I Mint Enhanced Imaging System Next Generation Electo Optical NGEO, Modular System, designed for incremental improvements in development. GEOINT Radar Lacrosse, Onyx, Radar Imaging 1988. Topaz and Topaz Block II Topic. SIGINT SAMOS F. SIGINT Poppy, ELINT Program 1962 Continuing Naval Research Laboratories GRAB 1960-1961 JUMPSEAT and TRUMPET 1994-2008 SIGINT Canyon 1968 to 1977, Vortex Chalet 1978 to 1989, and Mercury 1994 to 1998, SIGINT including COMINT. Rhyolite Aquacade 1970 to 1978, Magnum Orion 1985 to 1990, and Mentor 1995 to 2010, SIGINT. Nemesis High Altitude. Orion High Altitude. Raven high altitude intruder low altitude sigint high altitude replenishment program sharp topic space communications quasar communications relay nrol1 through nrol66 various secret satellites NROL stands for National Reconnaissance Office Launch. This list is likely to be incomplete, given the classified nature of many NRO spacecraft. <laughs> NMIS network The NRO Management Information System NMIS is a computer network used to distribute NRO data classified as top secret. It is also known as the Government Wide Area Network GWAN. Topic: Locations. In October 2008, NRO declassified 5 mission ground stations, 3 in the United States, near Washington DC, Aurora, Colorado, and Las Cruces, New Mexico, and a presence at RAF Menwith Hill, UK, and at the Joint Defense Facility Pine Gap, Australia. NRO Headquarters 38.882 degrees north 77.452 degrees west, 38.882, minus 77.452 Chantilly, Virginia National Reconnaissance Operations Center NROC 
Aerospace Data Facility Colorado ADFC 39.718 degrees north 104.777 degrees west 39.718 minus 104.777 Buckley Air Force Base Aurora Colorado Aerospace Data Facility East ADFE 38.736 degrees north 77.158 degrees west 38.736 minus 77.158 Fort Belvoir Virginia Aerospace Data Facility Southwest ADFSW 32.502 degrees north 106.611 degrees west 32.502 minus 106.611 White Sands New Mexico Topic In popular culture The NRO frequently appears in the tabletop RPG Delta Green the player characters can be agents of the NRO and Delta Green's rival. Majestic 12 has extensive ties to the NRO, existing partially through the organization and using most of their black budget. NRO Section Delta is the fictional black ops section of the NRO used by Majestic for wet work. The original source book released in 1997 classifies the NRO as a black operation off the books that doesn't officially exist, explaining why Majestic operations run so deep in the organization. The 2017 standalone RPG has the NRO relegated to a minor intelligence agency. The NRO is featured in Dan Brown's novel Deception Point. Topic image gallery Topic See also National Geospatial Intelligence Agency National Security Agency National Underwater Reconnaissance Office National Technical Means Reconnaissance Satellite Topic References Topic External links NRO Official Website Space-Based Reconnaissance by Maj Robert A. Guerrero National Security Archive, the NRO Declassified Memo of Declassification of NRO Additional NRO Information from the Federation of American Scientists America's Secret Spy Satellites are costing you billions, but they can't even get off the launch pad at the Wayback Machine archived November 28, 2007 U.S. News & World Report, the 11th of August 03, by Douglas Pasternak Agency planned exercise on September 11 built around a plane crashing into a building, from Boston. Com History of the U.S. High-Altitude SIGINT System History of the U.S. Reconnaissance System, imagery